Hi everyone, welcome back. It has been a while since I did an empties video and so I'm going to split this into two because I've got a, a, a fair amount of skin and a lot of hair and body and I know not everyone is interested in the hair and body so I'm going to elongate them into two videos. I was going to say episodes but you know, it's not friends, calm down. Um, I'm going to start with cleansers, obviously my usual. If you lay bets Erin, if you are watching this and you have your Hiren's uh, Empties Bingo ready, you can tick the first box. Pixie Double Cleanse. Uh, I think we're coming into year... We must be in year three now. Why can't I... The brain. It's not what it used to be. Um, solid cleansing oil on one side and the cream on the other. I go through at least one of these a month and Ava uses it too, so sometimes two, but that's using it t twice a day, two people. So it should last you much longer than that. Suitable for all skin types, vegan, cruelty free, yada yada. You've heard it all before. Speaking of heard it all before, Jordan Samuel, the After Show Treatment Cleanser. The sensitive skin one. I really like this. I think this is my second tube. Um, it's a gel to oil formula. It does take off your makeup. I tend to keep it as a skin cleanser though. So uh, actually all the ones I've got, I use as either, no, not that one, I don't. The three that I'm going to show you first, I would use as a makeup cleanser and as a skin cleanser um, but this is good for all all skin types I haven't met anyone who's had a problem with this yet so again all ages all skin types um, he is US based he will ship from the US but you will be liable for import duty oh, bear that in mind this is new now I love this and I'm gonna st I, I know it will be a regular I will use it all the time as much as if not more than the original balm it's Emma Hardy Moringa light cleansing gel um, it's just a really Oh, it's completely dead look no it's a really really light sort of gel oil formula but it's not an oil and it's not quite a gel and it does take all your makeup off um, and it does work lovely as a first or a second cleanse I like to use it in the morning because it's super light like a really half a pump is really great for an AM cleanse which you should do I know some of you don't want to that's up to you if it ain't broke don't fix it I would recommend you do. Um, they actually say it purifies and helps to balance oily skin. So obviously the fact that it's lighter, they're offering this as an alternative to the balm. However, this is also great as a light cleanser. Love. This one has also been in empties before, not as often because it's a bit more spendy. Uh, Amora Vita Thermal Cleansing Balm. I would say it looks like this, but there's nothing to see. Still smells lush. It is a sort of dark clay based cleansing balm. I would not use this to remove my makeup. This is purely a skin cleanser for me. Um, second cleanse PM or a quick cleanse in the morning if it's like the weekend or I've been out the night before or anything like that. Uh, beautiful cleanser on the pricier side so if you can't afford it don't sweat it. There are other more affordable options. However if you um, can afford it and you like a clay based cleansing balm this one is lush. Let's do sprays because there's a lot of sprays. Now, there are a lot of sprays because I have had a particularly bad instant of contact dermatitis about through a month ago, something like that. So there aren't a lot of moisturizers here because I got a really basic, almost rosacea cream from my dock, which will be in the next empties. But there are a lot of sprays and I was limited in what sprays I could use because some of them were too active. So, for example, Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. I love this so much, but these were in my empties before the dermatitis hit because when my skin is inflamed, this is too active for me because this is the inky list. Um, it's a lot of herbs. It is actually, when I'm not inflamed, really soothing and gentle. But when I, and I think it was um, a washing powder. I had stayed the night, not at home somewhere. And I think it was washing powder from the pillow because it was here and here. And that's the closest my derm and I could get to. It was here and here, it wasn't here and it wasn't here, and I tend to sleep. So that's the only thing we could think of that was different. Um, but this was too much for me when I was super inflamed. However, now it's fine and dandy. And again, tick that off your bingo because that is always in my empties. Ones that I could use that did me no further uh, harm, gave me no burning sensation, nothing um, aggravated. I've got four. Uh, this is Super Hyaluronic Moist. Moist Mist. Now I got this off Amazon. It is in the Hadalabo Korean section. Um, 
it is Hada Lava anyway. It was about eight quid. I think it's a bit more expensive now. Um, I can't get that last bit out, but let me try. Hang on. But it's a really great... Oh, there it goes a bit. It's a really great hydrating spray. So I'm not going to chuck this. I'm going to keep it and refill it with other sprays because it is a perfect size for travel. But this was a hyaluronic acid mist. Um, I have absolutely no clue what was in it in, in terms of what type of hyaluronic acid and what was used to help it get, because it's, it's, yeah, I can't read the labels, I'm sorry. But if you know, perhaps you can educate us all in the comments. Um, two more simple and then one much more complicated. Herbivore Rose Viscous Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. Looks like this. Super gentle, super innocuous, nice and hydrating. Didn't cause me any further aggro. Um, and you can use it face or body. I obviously just used it on the face. That's again, all skin types. Rose Hydrating Mist from Envy Organics. Now this was one of my favorites when it was inflamed and I hadn't had any in a while. This was actually, um, this must be at least a year old and it was still beautiful and immaculate and lush. And it still smells amazing. Um, Envy Organics is available on Cult Beauty in the UK. I'm not sure where else it is. Um, US wide, it's an Australian brand. It's just a beautiful brand if you like your organics. As you know, I'm not particularly bothered, uh, but I, I go after what works and this works. So it gets the tick on the box because it works, not because it's organic, just to be clear. Um, Mother Dirt AO Plus Mist for face and body. Now this I've spoken about before on, I think on Instagram. Um, we are a bit obsessed with this brand in the office. Jasmina, who was the founder of Mother Dirt, came to see me, it's got to be a year and a half, two years ago maybe, a year and a half ago, and showed me the product and I was, I didn't really get it. This is a spray I've been talking about that has live bacteria in it. Now, we are a family with dry skin and Ben in particular has eczema and really dry hands and face and patches, much better in the sunshine. He is obsessed with Mother Dirt. All of the products, there's a cleanser and a shampoo and a conditioner and a moisturizer. The mist is what I love. So the mist is live bacteria. It is live bacteria. They are scientists from MIT. I'll put a link below. Um, they are really nice people, but also geniuses. You know when you meet someone and you you just sort of listen to them and you're like that? I'm gonna go out shot again, but you're like that. And you think, yeah, I'm really not that educated. Edumacated. Really, really lovely. Check them out, I will list that below. Um, one serum because as I say I've been kind of on a program so you, you'll see that what I'm using is basically cleansing, moisturising and eye. As in spritz moisturising. Skin Suticals Hyaluronic Acid Intensifier Multifunctional Serum to help amplify skin's hyaluronic acid levels. Um, I love Skin Suticals. Anything to do with hyaluronic acid and Skin Suticals is always on my yes list. Um, this you can use on its own. It's just a dropper like that. This is totally dead. You can use it on its own or you can use it with hyaluronic acid on top of it to use it sort of to help carry it into the skin. All sorts of ways that they recommend and all sorts of ways that people who love SkinCeuticals have used this product. Um, if you're feeling particularly dry, it's great over makeup. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for that because it's pricey to do that. But if you are a dehydrated skin and you want to boost the hyaluronic acid levels in your skin, this is lovely. Four eye products. I do like an eye cream as we know. Um, and all very different. So the first one is Dennis Gross, Hyaluronic Acid, Hyaluronic Marine Do It All Gel. See what they did there? Do it, do you, D-E-W, Do It All Eye Gel. Um, I love a bit of Dennis Gross. I worked with them about three, three years ago, four years ago now. God, I can't remember how long ago it was. Um, and I love him and I love Carrie, his wife, and I love the product. It's, he's one of my favorite doctor brands. There's Dennis Gross, there's Zellens, there's a few good docs out there. Um, and this is just a really lovely, light, hydrating eye cream. So if you want, or an eye gel, if you get puffy, this is your bag. If you get puffy, make sure you don't put on too much in the evening, use it more in the day and steer away from heavy creams. If puffiness is your issue, this is a good one. There's another one coming up. Um, DCL, Peptide Plus Eye Treatment, Advanced Age Defined Therapy for Eyes. Looks like this. I've spoken about DCL loads, hang on. Oh, I could get more out. Oh, I'll get more out of that. It's one of those situations where you kind of have to whack it and make sure you can get it all out. But what I'll do is transfer that to a little tub and use it when I'm traveling. Um, this is fantastic for all ages, but particularly if your um, big concern is lines. 
So if you're worried about, and not so much dehydration lines, but lines that are there because you smile a lot, or you're just older, Peptide Plus Eye Cream, highly recommend. All skin types, as I say, you don't need it if you're 20. You may not even need it if you're 30, but if you're 30 plus and you've got this going on, that would be for you. And then two, not just purely by chance, they are completely different. Um, C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream Drunk Elephant. This is probably on the bingo list. I love this eye cream. I love the packaging. Um, it does what it says on the tin. Power 5C, 5, 8 peptide blend. Um, I've loved this from the moment I put it on my face. Um, I am trialing. There's a whole shelf there of eye creams. I'm going to try and work my way through them. But this is one of the ones that if I'm if I don't want to think about it, this is one of the ones I grab. I love this, all ages, all eye concerns, a winner. This one was a surprise. I cannot remember if this was sent to me or if I bought it in Sephora. Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel. I think it was sent to me. Was it sent to me? No. I think I bought it. Biosance Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel. Looks like this, reduces puffiness and dark circles. Now, I always say, I always take everything with a pinch of salt if it says it reduces dark circles because I am very much of the belief that they're either genetic or a sign that you're not well and a cream is not going to change your genes or that you're not well. Sometimes they can help disguise it a little bit but the only thing that truly gets rid of dark circles is filler because the filler sits in front and so disguises it and I don't want to have filler under my eyes so I just buy a good concealer. Um, but I loved this eye cream and I used it all through when my skin was reacting and it was it was perfection. Um, I love a bit of squalane anyway, as we know. I, I don't even know too much about it. Squalane peptide eye gel, it, it's got a great, no, it's totally like I have, I think I've even already, yeah, look. It is dead as a dodo. Poor dodos. Um, all ages, uh, it does reduce puffiness because again, it's a light gel. So these are for you if you are concerned about puffiness. These are more suited if you're better, if you're sort of, they, these are better for you and more suited to you, enunciate, if you are more concerned with lines. Um, but out of the four this month, this one was probably my favorite. Um, I'm pretty sure it came from the States. <laughs> we are gonna start having to try and write things underneath so we know. But yeah, Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel, good shout, Biosance, very nice. I don't have a spare, I will try and find one. Um, and this is the last one. Now this is kind of a hybrid. It can sit with my makeup empties, but because I tend to use it throughout the day, I thought I'd put it in skin. It's Pixie Rose Glow Mist. I've had Pixie Glow Mist empties before. I'm not sure if I've had the Rose Glow Mist before, but anyway, this is at least my second. If it hasn't been in the, in the empties, it's because it got chucked. But uh, Antioxidant Botanical Boost, Rose Glow Mist with seven flower oils. Now, I don't, I'll be completely honest, I use this purely for the cosmetic reasons. I don't use this thinking it's going to miraculously fix my skin or be a huge antioxidant boost. That's what it says on the packaging. I use it because when I've done my makeup, I give myself a light mist and it is, there you go, look. Super, oh, why am I wasting that? Super light mist. Um, does help set your makeup, but also gives you a glow. So that's why I, when I'm tired or my skin is mullered or I've had a reaction and I'm filming, and I'm just trying to look a bit brighter. I go through this and the glow mist. I use them every single time I am wearing makeup and I double up when I'm filming. So there you go, that's it. Four cleansers, 27,000 mists, four eye creams, a serum, and a mist. Um, as always, all details will be below. I will do a quick hair and body just for those of you that like it, um, but I know most of you are here for the skin, but I'll do a quick hair and body, and I can't remember what's next or what's coming in what rotation, but see you soon.